If your internet connection stops working, there are a few simple steps you can take that may get you up and running without having to call the eTOP help desk. First question, is it just me or is everyone in the office having problems? If everyone else's internet connection is working, the first thing to do is to check that your own internet cable is connected properly. At the back of your computer, there's a cable connector that looks like this. It brings the internet signal from the router to your computer. The cable colour may be different, but the connector will be the same. Check that it's fully engaged. There's a small plastic clip that secures the connector. Push down to release it, disconnect the cable, then push the cable all the way back in until you feel the connector click into place. Now check your internet again. If it's working, you fix the problem. Give yourself a Mars bar. But if it's still not working, follow the cable back to the router. It's a box with flashing lights that supplies everyone's computer with internet. And check that connection as well. But if you're not the only one having problems, maybe it's the router. So the next step is to check that the router is working. This is a picture of a working router. We can tell by the flashing lights. If the lights are not flashing on yours, check that the power cable is plugged into the back of the router and that it's plugged into the mains and switched on. If the router's plugged in, switched on, but not working, then there's nothing more you can do until we've fixed it, so you'll have to phone us. But if the cables are all connected and the router lights are flashing, but you still don't have an internet connection, there's one more test we'd like you to do. We're going to do some pinging. Pinging is the computer equivalent of poking a friend in the ribs to see if they're alive. First, we'll ping the router. To find the router's internet address, open up a command prompt by pressing the Windows key, typing command prompt, and pressing enter. Next, type ipconfig into the command line that appears. ipconfig. This asks your computer to tell you the address of the router. You'll get an answer that looks like this, but the numbers will be different. Write down the numbers your computer gives you. Next, enter your router IP address, the number you just wrote down, into the command line. Ping PING space 192.168.1.1 and then press Enter. You'll either get an answer like this, which means that the router is alive and the problem is elsewhere, or like this, which means it isn't and you've found the problem. Call us. Assuming that the router is alive, the next ping is going to be to the internet itself. Type the following into your command line. Ping, P-I-N-G, space, 4.2.2.2, and press Enter. If you get an answer, then your router can speak to the internet. Check your internet connection again. Google something obscure and see if you get a reply. If you do, then all is well and you've solved the problem. But if you get a reply from your internet ping, but you still can't get an internet connection, you'll need to call us. And if you don't get an answer when you ping the internet, we also need to know. Call us. eTop Technology is here to help.